Molly Tuttle, and in this lesson I'm going to talk about claw hammer guitar. And I first heard about this style um, through a guy named Michael Stadler out in the Bay Area. And when I was a teenager, I became really interested in claw hammer banjo, which is a style of banjo associated with old time music and Appalachian string band music. So I learned claw hammer banjo first, and I was taking lessons from a guy who worked at the same music store that my dad worked at in the Bay Area. And I had learned a couple tunes and some songs on Clawhammer banjo, and I was teaching music at a music camp up in Northern California. And during one of my off periods, I saw there was a class called Clawhammer guitar, and I'd never heard of Clawhammer guitar, so I decided to go check it out. And so there was this teacher, Michael Sadler, there, and he showed me an alternate tuning first that you start off with, which is similar to a banjo tuning. So the tuning I'm generally using when I play claw hammer guitar is an open G tuning that uses a C note instead of the third, the B note. So you tune the second string up to a C. So from the bottom to the top, this tuning is D, G, D, G, C, D. And it's basically tuned like a banjo, but you would take the B string on the banjo as well and tune it up to a C, which I've heard people refer to as like mountain minor tuning. And it creates kind of a modal sound without a third in there. You can make it sound either major or minor or somewhere in between. And the first pattern that I ever learned on the claw hammer guitar is called a bum ditty pattern. And the really basic technique of claw hammer you kind of make your hand look like a claw, but keep it, keep it pretty loose so I'm not squeezing my hand. And with my index and middle finger, fingernails, I am raking down on the strings, like that. And as my hand goes down, my thumb catches on one of the low strings, either the fifth string or the sixth string. And then when my hand comes back up, I pluck the low string with my thumb. And on the banjo it would be the high fifth string because the fifth string is higher than the other strings, but on guitar it creates this droning bass, bass note sound. So we have... That's with the bass in the fifth string, or you could do the sixth string. So that's the really basic just motion of claw hammer. And then the first pattern that you learn is the bum ditty, and that describes the rhythm of the pattern. So it would be bum, ditty, bum, ditty. So it's going to be index, index, thumb. And each time your hand comes down, the thumb catches on that string, but we're just alternating. The first time, it doesn't pluck the string, and then the second time, you're plucking the low string. So then I learned how to put it in a song, and the first song that I ever learned with this pattern is an old traditional song called Little Sadie, and um, see if you can pick out the bum ditty pattern. I'm going to be playing just individual strings instead of strumming all the strings with my index finger. Now I'm going to be playing an individual string, like that. So the song goes like this. First line we have bum diddy bum diddy bum 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 diddy. So there you can hear how that basic pattern fits into a song. And if I was going to speed that up, it would sound like this. Mm -hmm. 